So martial arts has this concept that you cannot become an expert at something until you do it for 10 years, until you commit yourself for 10 full years, and then you learn the lessons and then you grow inside and that reflects out and then that's when you can consider yourself an expert at something. So how do we apply that to business? Any business, especially in a highly oversaturated market, I think that so many of us are living in nowadays. Here's my theory. In order to be indispensable in an oversaturated market, you have to become the top 25% at three different things. And here's the fun part. You get to choose those three things. And how do you choose them? I think you follow your curiosity. So let's say, for instance, you focused your main career goal on writing a best-selling book. What can you do to get there? Well, you're gonna have to gain visibility, right? So my personal path has been a matter of getting into audiobook production and seeing not only from the narration level, but from the production level through ACX. Two thumbs up for ACX, they make the process super easy and their blog is really helpful if you're interested in producing your own audiobooks. I have a few more videos coming about that process and how that journey was for me and what programs I used. So I'm getting into the audiobook production process and the narration process, but beyond that, I'm also getting into the podcasting and the YouTubing process, which isn't to say ever, ever dreamed that I would be doing that, but here I am. And why? Because it helps gain reach. It helps gain visibility. You want to meet your market where they are and where they are now. They're on social media. They're watching videos, especially short ones. Good little tip. 10 minutes or more, not so much, five minutes or, or less, that's a two thumbs up for people who want to binge, which is most of us, right? A few other things you could do, maybe you wanna start hosting events or give back to your community in a different way, whatever that means for you. So I believe if you choose three things, you have one top tier thing that your, your main overall goal is that you're arching at, and then pick two more to sort of support that goal, to lift you and to raise that goal up, and then those become your trip trips, sort of the holy trinity of business, if you will. And that becomes your skill set. So then imagine 10 years. Imagine 10 years then. I mean, it sounds crazy, but it's really not. This is a way for you to engage your hobbies, your interests, to find out what you like. Remember those days in high school or college where you just took a class you just tried something for the fun of it because you felt like you had the time to. So many of us get caught up in the stress of doing business in today's digital world when we should really slow down a little bit and maybe not be so hyper-focused on the end goal, but picking two other goals that will support us to the end goal. Choose one top tier thing, two more things to support it and be the foundations of it and to help grow that business and then watch it bloom.